and isn't the country wasn't it originally built upon the premise and i don't get into politics and i think they're all wankers and it's just a scam but the fact of the matter is is you've got the opposition and the government you're supposed to have an alternate point of view it's it's isn't that one of the premises of this democracy that we've got that you have an alternate and opposing view balanced discussion an argument a debate and you're supposed to move forward with it and you don't you don't have that we 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 cop this censorship back in 2015 we we were told stop talking don't tell people what's going on so we didn't we stopped now, ultimately we got forced to stop it was extremely bad for our health i had to enter into an agreement with um a number of the agencies to a written agreement um, not to speak further in public. So basically the information that I was providing was never proven to be incorrect in any way, shape or form. In fact, it was all in the complete opposite. So when we entered into that agreement, essentially the, the ATO wiped me out, made me a bankrupt, you know, at the time. And again, again, it's a system um, title, give it what you like. I, I have no, no issue with, with the current status. But it's, um, yeah, they wiped me out completely from, from financially to, they, they thought emotionally and spiritually and all the rest of it, but it didn't, that's not, that doesn't happen to, to someone like myself and, or Gunnam or someone who's motivated by, by a challenge. Right. <laughs> the reality is, is if, if you turn off the TV and you turn off your phones, you wouldn't know COVID existed if it does, but it's one of those things that there's no, um, there, there, there's no, fear unless you buy into it you know and and everyone is buying into it turn off the tell live vision it's programming you well what if the project that that we're involved with gunham and myself and a number of others is called nightcap village development it's nightcap on minjumbal this is minjumbal territory um, country and we're in a joint venture with the tribe in relation to returning back to tribal ways cultural ways coming from the heart do no harm and respecting the mother um, the sacred country that we're on. We are on a very sacred parcel of land here in northern New South Wales. It is around about three and a half thousand acres of land. We have significant resources all over it, unlimited water, unlimited power, sunshine. It's a community that's being built around uh, the town that we already own, which is a town by the name of Mount Burrell here in, again in northern New South Wales. And um, for us, it is our, our staging point for our expansion in the rest of the country to show people that you can actually live a completely different paradigm and the reality is it's available to everyone it's certainly within price point for, for most people it's within um, understanding and concept it comes back to heart to nature um, for us this development is a, is a sanctuary everything we're doing is complying with the rules of the matrix